It's not your typical run in the mountains. In fact, it's the type of thing you're told never to try at home. With gut-wrenching obstacles like muddy, electrified water, ice, and a scorching blaze, it's treacherous and long, and like any other fulfilling adventure, requires participants to sign a liability waiver. It's a 20-kilometer course called Tough Mudder, hidden in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. The organizers take pride in calling it probably the toughest event on the planet. For the 5,000 registered mudders, bruises, blood, mud, and costumes are all part of the fun. In fact, the course has become so popular that there are 34 events like it this year covering three continents, with more in the works. So how do you train for something of this magnitude? And why would you pay money months in advance to do this to yourself? It's called commitment. One well, of my other buddies did it. He got hurt, but he said it was the most mental and physical challenge he'd ever gone through. So I was like, well, I'm going to do it. Since its founding, Tough Mudder has helped to raise more than $3 million for severely wounded American servicemen and servicewomen in transitioning to civilian life through a nonprofit organization called the Wounded Warrior Project. They really highly emphasize the, uh, our, our fallen ones and our ones who, 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 um, who are out there fighting for us. I just put myself in their shoes at that moment and was like, wow, this, is, this, this one is for them. This eight-man team called the Militants, four from New York and four from Washington, train together in the weeks leading to the main event. But there are some things you just can't train for, like an obstacle called the electric eel. They tell you, oh, it's 10,000 volts and you're gonna get shocked. And, and, and by the way, if anybody next to you in the water is gonna get shocked, you're gonna get shocked too. And then, after all the training, the moment of truth. We all woke up at five in the morning and uh, we, were, we were all exhausted. But uh, we got in the car and I got in my zone, man. I started to feel the energy sort of in preparation for the race. I was just, let's do this. The drum beats of war, complete with piercing battle cries, a three hour rush of adrenaline. It all comes together as one. That feeling that while everything can stand in your way, nothing will stop you. I'm Ramon Taylor for VOA News.